I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. We are not in the farm today. We are at um, Agbo. We came to give a lecture at uh, Project Hope. Hotel Hope. I want to talk about the Ekoremadu saga. Ekoremadu saga. It's a rather unfortunate incident. A father and a mother who were desperate to save their daughter who has renal failure. There are two things I want to, there are some things I want to look at. Number one, let all these our politicians know that there are some things money cannot prevent. There are some things that only God can prevent. There are some things that we should realize that life is still in the hands of God. And we must be very, very humble. Recently, Sani Abacha's son died. All the money could not prevent him. Mary and Babangida died. All the money and power could not prevent her death. Uh, Basan just wife, Stella died. Let's be humble. So, the wealth and the status and the position of a Quirimado could not prevent the daughter from having renal disease. Number two, if Enugu, the University of Nigerian Teaching Hospital, had a good renal unit, there are enough Nigerian doctors all over the world, including my classmates in medical school and my juniors, that could effectively do a renal transplant. When I was in medical school, I've said this severally, the king of Saudi Arabia used to send his family to the University College Hospital at Ibadan for medical treatment. And a host of my professors went to Saudi Arabia to work. Now, we have killed our health system. We have destroyed our uh, medical system, destroyed uh, our educational system. We are sending our children overseas. We are running overseas to, to, for treatment. If we had a good hospital here that could do renal transplant, which day did India leave their poverty bracket? I remember when Indians were my teachers. I remember when we paid them salary, when they were paid salary, they were nervous that they had paid them the annual salary. Today we are going to India for treatment. Nigeria will eventually catch up with us. The poor health services, the poor educational system, the corrupt policemen, everything that we tolerate while in power will catch up with us. So Ikwerimadu is going to spend time in jail. God help him, he doesn't have a life imprisonment. Number two, the Nigerian system is such that if a country is a dysfunctional nation, the citizens are not respected anywhere. No matter how they portray themselves and carry themselves in, Niger in Nigeria here. So, uh, if a Kuremado were to be a Japanese citizen or an American citizen, the treatment he would have received would have been different. The nation would have gone there to negotiate with the British government and they would have seen what to do. But coming from Nigeria, a pariah nation, a third world nation, a poor nation. Even you, their president, their, uh, this is a deputy senate president, will be treated like trash because you come from a backward nation. I heard recently that Tinubu has gone to one place for medical checkup of arrest. What is wrong with us? This is a man who claims to have built Lagos. So you couldn't build a place to rest or you couldn't build a place to have medical checkups. This country will catch up with us catch up with us. The Kweremadu is a reflection of the consequences of coming from a decayed nation and not making plans to build that nation and build their institutions hoping you could run abroad for medical treatment. Why didn't he go to India? Simple. He wanted to create a distinction by using British medical system. Ironically, it will surprise you that it might be a Nigerian doctor 
that will do the renal transplant. I heard an American saying recently that Nigerian doctors are the single ethnic nationality or nation that has the greatest number of doctors in America. Same thing with the UK. And our doctors are going, our nurses are going, and we are destroying this country. It will catch up with us. Some of them who are currently here who think that they will one day just fly and run away. Before you get to the airport, you might die before you reach the airport. So be very careful. This nation needs to be built. This nation has to be developed. Let me quickly say this, and I'm done. The Nigerian system, I saw naked women, women stripping naked to curse politicians. People have been praying, raining curses on people. Let me tell you, politician, let me tell you, Nigerian leader, it will catch up with you. The curses of the people will catch up with you. The curses of the people because of your injustices, your wickedness will eventually catch up with you. So, power, grab, election boxes carry, ballot boxes carry, money steal. This nation, there is a spirit in this nation, it will catch up with you. Ekwere Madu and his wife, I feel very sorry for you. I sympathize with you. But that is the problem. We all reap what we sow. May God help this country. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles. Uh, Pokey, God bless you. <laughs>